If you've ever wanted to know how to make a live edge wood coffee table, follow along and I'll let you know how I did it. So first off, I have to tell you, I'm not an expert woodworker. I don't have like all the fancy tools. All I have are the basic things, screwdriver, um, uh, a saw, um, some wood putty, wood glue, L brackets, screws, just the basic necessities. But the most important thing you need is the wood. And for that, we went out to M&G Sawmill, who we love to get all of our really nice, um, cool pieces of unique wood. We got some long, about 12 to 14 inch wide cedar planks from them, brought them back to the house, and we got to work. So first off, I started by cutting the wood to the lengths that I needed. In this case, we were going to make a coffee table that was about 43 inches long and about 18 inches high. After I did that, I put the pieces of wood together by using some wood glue and then using some straight brackets to screw them together to where the, the two straight edges were merged with one another and the live edges or the, um, I'm saying live edge, but a lot of times people don't, that's just like when the curves, you have the natural curves of the wood, the live edges were on the outside, the straight edges were on the inside. Once we sanded it all down together, we ended up using the wood glue and the L brackets to put the legs uh, on the underside of what was going to be the table. And that really wasn't that hard. You know, you just have to make sure that you use something to press them together to make sure that the wood glues them really tight and then screw the L brackets in with just some regular wood screws on the bottom. Once we got the legs attached to the table, um, we turned it back over and we started sanding it down to make it really nice and smooth. Once we did that, this client had a particular color that they wanted to use and they wanted to have kind of like a red mahogany type of um, look to it as opposed to the natural cedar. So we stained it uh, a red oak color and that kind of gave a, a reddish purplish look to the wood. Um, once we did that, we re-sanded it again and then applied another coat of stain to make sure it was all smooth. And then after that, we put a coat of um, clear polyurethane over the top of it. And that really sealed it all in. After we did that, we took it over to our client. Mary had this nice blue ottoman that she was going to have this table uh, sit over the top of. And we made sure that it fit. Luckily, it fit because we had the measurements and I got my math right. And the client was super happy. And so if you want to make a natural wood coffee table, it's really not that hard. Just a couple things here and there. And um, let me know what you think. Did you like the way it came out? Would you have stained it? Would you have not have stained it? Um, are you a big fan of cedar? Um, do you have any other questions? I love trying to share the little bit of knowledge that I have. And you don't always have to be an expert. You just got to have to have a willingness to try and get it done.